be a good day. Even if I make it myself, it's gonna be a good day. I don't need no one else. I'm gonna have a good day. Nothing wrong I could do. I'm gonna have a good day. Hope you have a good day too. Good morning. I'm Trish Pahanik, and this is Synopsis, your first early morning briefing. It's Tuesday, February 13th, 2007, and here is today's top story. Viacom will lay off 250 people across the board at MTV Networks, approximately 6% of the Viacom division's 4,500-plus workforce. The move is tied to reducing costs and switching investment priorities to digital and new networks while investigating new business models for its international TV networks and sales and online businesses. The layoffs are expected to influence MTV, VH1, Nickelodeon, Spike, Comedy Central, and others such as music, children's, family, and entertainment. Units. We have more stuff coming up today, but first this message from Categories. And remember, if you had a promo or a commercial in this video, we'd all be watching your stuff right now. Best TV show? The Andy Griffith Show. How about you? Hill Street Blues. Oh, party of five. Oh, come on, how about best songwriter? Harry Chapin. Pearl Jam. I'm going to go with Dave Matthews. Marianne or Ginger? Definitely Ginger. Uh, oh, no, I'm a Marianne guy all the way. Oh, come on, guys. The, I'm a professor kind of gal. <laughs> First early morning read. Synopsis. Oh, synopsis. Synopsis. Hey! <laughs> Coming up under more stuff today, Tiki Barber scores, SoapNet will launch its first original scripted series, Comedy Central orders more Sarah Silverman, and USA picks up Burn Notice. Touchdown for Tiki Barber, former New York Giants running back Tiki Barber, who retired after the Pro Bowl last Sunday, has landed a sports gig with NBC Sports Sunday Night Football and a, as a news contributor for NBC's Today Show. A press conference is scheduled today uh, at 11.30 a.m. at Rockefeller Center for the major talent announcement. The four-year deal is reportedly worth $3 bucks annually. TLC's documentary series Little People, Big World returns with 18 new episodes starting April 9th at 8 o'clock following the Roloff family. This season, the show will move to Monday nights with two uh, piggy-packed, piggy-backed, that's hard to say, episodes each week. The series is produced by Gay Rosenthal Productions for TLC. A&E will debut the third season of its documentary series Intervention in a new time period, Fridays at 10 o'clock beginning March 16th. The series profiles people who are dealing with drug or alcohol addictions and the surprise intervention conducted by friends and family and one of four specialists involved with the show. Intervention is produced for A&E by GRB. BBC America will debut its version of the legendary hero Robin Hood on March 3rd at 9 o'clock in a new 13-episode series. Encore airings of the show will happen each week on Sundays at 10 a.m. and 7 p.m. as well as Tuesdays at 10 o'clock p.m. Production and Development for all you long-time devoted GH fans, check this out. Based on the ABC Daytime Soap General Hospital, SoapNet has ordered 13 one-hour episodes of its first exclusive serialized drama called General Hospital Night Shift, that's a working title. The weekly drama will center on the soap's current characters and give viewers an extension of what happens during the nighttime hours at the hospital. The series is expected to premiere this summer and will be cross-promoted during the daytime version of General Hospital on ABC. Comedy Central has picked up a second season of the Sarah Silverman program after airing just twice so far since its debut. With 1.8 million viewers for its premiere episode, it earned the title of Most Viewed Premiere since Drawn Together launched in 2004. HGTV has ordered additional episodes of three of its real estate focus series, Hidden Potential from Leopard Films, and two from Pie Town Productions, National Open House, and My House is Worth What? 
FX has picked up a new drama pilot called The Inside, about a former special ops agent who agrees to give up everything to go undercover in a major drug smuggling operation, reports Hollywood Reporter. A new project for TBS called The Bill Angville Show, in a comedy pilot about a therapist who should consider turning some of the therapist skills on his own family. Uh, Nancy Travis has been cast to play his wife, and the show is expected to premiere this summer. And last on the list, but certainly not least, USA has ordered to series its pilot project, Burn Notice, from Fuse Entertainment, and starring Jeffrey Donovan and Gabrielle Anwar per Variety. The story is about a secret agent forced out when someone or some group puts a burn notice on him. The series is expected to launch in early summer. Well, switching right into the rating summary from Sunday night, according to Live Plus Same Day Ratings from Nielsen Media Research, CBS won Sunday night on a high note with a 7.117, Adele 18-49. Now, ABC started the evening with a win at 7 o'clock for Extreme Makeover Home Edition Part 1 at a 3.911. Then, for the rest of the night, CBS took control as its 49th Annual Grammy Awards presentation ranked number one each hour. Now, at 8 o'clock, CBS led with an 8.319. The Grammys peaked at 9 o'clock with an 8.919. And then at 10 o'clock, CBS ended the night with an 8.420. Today's Daily Myth, it's a law that if you have to pay a debt with a bag of pennies, your creditor may require you to pay in paper bills. Nah, all coins are considered legal tender in the U.S. and can be used to pay any debt, public charge, or tax. So bring your tax man a bag of pennies. I'm sure they'd love that. Well, that's going to wrap it up for today. Be sure to check your email for the full printed version of today's synopsis with new executive moves and more on ratings, loads of new classified ads, and a few other bits and pieces that didn't make it into this podcast. And, of course, don't miss tonight's primetime broadcast lineup. The music and synopsis was composed and performed by David Stango. This podcast is a synopsis media production in association with 311 West. For Cynthia Turner, who wrote and compiled synopsis in Connecticut, I'm Trish Pahonic. I'm going to have a good day. If I make it myself, I'm gonna have a good day. I don't need no one else. I'm gonna have a good day. Nothing wrong I could do. I'm gonna have a good day. Hope you have a good day too.